Teslas in autopilot mode have crashed into numerous emergency vehicles, other vehicles, and pedestrians, causing injuries and death. After more than two years of investigation by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, they've finally issued a recall. Since 2021, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, has been investigating Tesla's autopilot. There's been a number of crashes related to Tesla's driving in autopilot mode. And if you're not familiar, Tesla has two modes. Standard with every vehicle comes the standard autopilot mode. And that's more like an advanced cruise control. The vehicle's able to keep up with the flow of traffic. It can adjust its speed. It can change lanes. It can follow curves. It works really well, but there are some flaws. And personally, as someone who's used this feature, it keeps me a little bit on edge. Now, as the driver of the vehicle, you're supposed to be in control. You're supposed to have your hands on the wheel, be paying attention. However, people are smart. They're able to find ways around these safety systems. There's actually clips where people trick these vehicles and allow things like stuffed animals to drive, for example. This shouldn't happen, but it can happen. The other mode is more of a full self-driving mode. You put in your destination and the Tesla will take you from point A to point B. Now this is a pricey feature on these vehicles. It's a subscription fee that you must pay for. Now as a first responder, we already have to have our eyes on the road, pay attention, have that head on a swivel because there's a lot of distracted drivers out there. Drivers that just aren't paying attention. They're doing all sorts of things on the road right now. But now we have vehicles that are supposed to be safer. They have this self-driving technology and they're running into emergency vehicles. Currently, there's 16 incidents involving Teslas in autopilot mode crashing into emergency vehicles. Most recently in 2023, a Tesla crashed into the back of a ladder truck, killing the driver. Now, the Wall Street Journal did a great video describing what happens when these vehicles fail. And one of the incidents they looked at was an intoxicated driver that actually crashed into police cars. This driver was in the vehicle for 45 minutes while the vehicle drove in autopilot mode. And that vehicle warned the driver 150 times to pay attention and to put his hands on the wheel. Ultimately, that vehicle crashed into the police cars and they're very fortunate nobody was killed. Data from the nonprofit organization, The Dawn Project, shows over a thousand crashes related to autopilot resulting in injury and 33 crashes resulting in fatalities. This data goes back to 2016 and that's a significant amount of crashes. However, when you start looking at the data, not all the crashes are due to the autopilot. Sure, the autopilot is engaged, however, it wasn't necessarily the cause of the crash. For example, in this incident, a box truck crashed into a motorcycle, killing the riders. Those riders were pushed into a Tesla, and that Tesla just happened to have autopilot mode activated, even though the Tesla was stopped at a light. Now, yes, autopilot was involved, the Tesla was involved in that accident, but it definitely did not cause those fatalities. Another incident in California, a wrong way driver was driving on a highway and crashed head on to a Tesla that was in autopilot mode. Maybe the drivers weren't paying attention, maybe they were, we really don't know, but there's plenty of wrong way driver accidents out there that cause fatalities, and I don't think in this case, autopilot's necessarily to blame. But then there's incidents like this, where a Tesla rear-ended a motorcycle on the highway, killing the rider. That was when autopilot was engaged. That very likely was due to the autopilot and the driver not paying attention. Or this incident in Florida where a Tesla was getting off the highway for a rest area, crashing in the back of a semi-truck, killing the passengers of that vehicle. Autopilot was active for that incident. Now, I did look through all the 33 incidents involving fatalities, Teslas in autopilot mode, and again, based on my analysis, some of those incidents, the autopilot feature, was not responsible. The Tesla autopilot mode seems to work relatively good during the daytime, but at night and non-standardized situations, it doesn't seem to do as good. So for example, when you have road closures or signs up for construction zones, that's an area where the autopilot mode seems to just wanna drive through those barriers. Another example is school buses. When school buses are stopped, they've got the stop arm out, the lights flashing. Teslas wanna just drive around them. School bus, double stop, and no, oh, look at this.
Oh. In fact, in early 2023, a sophomore in Halifax County, North Carolina, got off the school bus, walked across the front of the school bus to cross the road, and a Tesla in autopilot mode crashed into that student, injuring him. Life-threatening injuries, he had to be flown to the hospital. Thankfully, he wasn't killed, but just another example where these non-standard situations can cause failures with the autopilot system. And if you check out the Dawn Project, they've done a number of tests, including taking mannequins of small children, running them in front of the road, running them in front of these Teslas, and the Teslas just mow them over. The Tesla recall itself, that's just going to be a software update. That's not going to be a physical recall where vehicles have to come off the road. They'll send an over-the-air update, fix those vehicles, and hopefully everything will be better in the future. If you want to learn more about electric vehicles, some of the technology in electric vehicles, including the way the door latches work, the electronic door latches, do they work if there's no power? Are you trapped inside that vehicle? Click the link in this video right here.